hello and welcome in this video i will show you how we can automate the purchase order confirmation process it means if there is a workflow and after the workflow a workflow approval we don't need to really click on the purchase order confirmation and then purchase order confirmation will be done after that we will print the purchase order so this total process purchase order confirmation and print purchase order we will automate the only thing it will be there is the just app approvers need to approve this after that everything will be automated let's see first thing the only thing we need to do to auto come from the purchase order is we need to go to procurement and sourcing and then we have option call under purchase order confirmation we have option call confirm purchase orders here this form will open here we need to select let selection to yes and we need to select the criteria here we need to select this approval status to approved if you open it it will be purchase order status but from here you can change that from purchase order status to approval status make it a filter and the criteria is approved we will click okay and after that we need to click on batch before i go to that batch selection i need to i want to tell you that as i mentioned here not only purchase order confirmation but also we will automate this printing purchase order and if require we can send this to the vendor email address as well so that means after workflow approval user will not or user does not need to come and click on purchase order confirmation and print the order and send it to vendor email address that doesn't need that that is not required now how we need to click on this we need to enable this print purchase order option to yes and we need to click on use print management destination i will talk about this after this let's create the batch now so while creating the batch we need to select this print purchase order to yes and this option and let selection to yes and selection criteria will be approval status will be approved after that we need to click on this batch we can click batch processing to yes and we can give the recurrence time say you want to send all purchase order once in a day you can keep the minutes and hours so for that demo i have kept it for 1 minute like this okay i will not create because i have already created this batch job and this is a recurrence batch job that's it if i click okay the batch jobs will be enabled i have already enabled it so i will not create a duplicate batch so when you do it when you are doing it you can just do it by the same way the batch job will be created after that we also need to like i mentioned we, we are not only doing the purchase order auto confirmation we also printing the report and we'll send it to vendor email address how to do that we need to go to accounts payable under accounts payable there will be option called forms under forms there will be form setup and from here you can click on print management and under print management you will see this options and on for with that you will click on purchase order and click will the original will be enabled and from here you need to click this destination option and printer setup and here you will click on email and here in two option you just click on edit and the, this option will come you can select vendor purpose to business invoice whatever so everything you select that address purpose uh that email address will that vendor will get the email on that email address so you'll click okay and here i can write subject like purchase order ss enterprise so this subject will be in the email while the purchase order is going to the vendor email address and file format will be pdf or whatever you want to have from the drop down csv microsoft excel image whatever i kept it as pdf so i'll click okay that's it that is the only setup we need to do the first setup we need we have done batch job batch job activation the standard batch job which will automatically find the criteria which is approved status of the workflow and after that if this finds that there is a purchase order is approved and it can be con confirmed without any error it will automatically confirm that purchase order so now i will create a purchase order i will show you a small short demo on this i have enabled the workflow here already i will create a purchase order
so for the vendor for this vendor i have i have added my email address in the vendor email address so that in this session only you will get that email is coming automatically so here let's select this vendor the first vendor I need to click on site warehouse click ok now I will select the item ok maybe item quantity Net amount everything is fine now I will submit this into the workflow submit <coughs> I will submit it it is in review I will wait for some uh, for a couple of seconds maybe to come into my queue or you can say in approvals queue approvals queue okay let's see whether i can approve it or not still it is not under my name okay let's see the workflow history Okay, it has not started even. Let's wait. If you want, you can fast forward this. Yeah, it is now assigned to my name. I will approve this. I will click on approve. So now let's wait for this status from in review to be approved. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. So basically, after the approvers approve it, there is nothing left. You know till the confirmation you don't need to come and manually confirm it once it is approved it will automatically confirm by the system okay now it is approved now we will not do anything we will just sit sit here and we'll see the automation so I have enabled that purchase order batch in the one minute up interval so it will run and automatically make it approved and similarly automatically the email will come to the vendor email address with the purchase order attachment okay let's wait the, for the next batch to run which we have created let's wait you can also if you want you can also fast forward this okay Let's wait. See the magic. Now from automatically from approved, it has been changed to confirmed. We did not manually confirm and generated the confirmation. That's it. And in the seconds, you will see in my right hand side bottom there will be a pop-up coming the email has come to my email address okay let's see <clears throat> let's see my email box no it is the old email Let's wait for a couple of seconds because there's another bad job for email sending from the system that is a standard bad job. 
so we will wait for that batch job as well see the magic the purchase order confirmation from this email box it will it has come to my email box ideally it should go to vendor email whatever is added in the vendor master so if i open it see this is the email i have system automatically if i open it the purchase order will open okay same thing so this is the automation which i wanted to talk okay i hope you have learned something new today with this automation so let me repeat what we have done if the requirement is if the vendor if the or your client comes and say i i will only approve the workflow and after that i will not manually confirm and i will not manually print that purchase order i will send so if you have learned this video you can now get rid of this manual activity okay that's it for now thanks for watching let's wait for another video bye for now